All right, Sam mm -hmm. just took <laughs> Sam just took his. Mm -hmm. Did you have the cinnamon sugar or the powdered sugar? Powdered. Is that your favorite? Mm -hmm. How was it? Delicious. Good morning. What's up, guys? It's Sunday morning. Kids are still sleeping. About to wake them up. We're gonna go to church. Um, but I thought for a nice little treat before we go, I found these biscuits in the back of my fridge. I'm going to make them some homemade donuts. This is a recipe I've been wanting to show you guys for a while. I'm not eating gluten, so it hasn't been high on my list, but it'll be a nice treat for the kids. They love my homemade donuts. Um, and I've been wanting to make this video. So I had about a cup or so of grease left, just vegetable oil that I'm heating up on medium. You want it to be pretty hot before you put them in there and I'll show you how to test for that in a second. I'm making myself a little iced coffee with this espresso blend, yum. All right, I think we're ready guys. We got the donuts all cut out. I think that that's hot enough. This is a very nostalgic recipe for me. My aunt would make these for us when I was little. Shout out to Aunt Terry. Um, this is one of my favorite breakfasts she would make when we were visiting uh, my cousin. So she would always top some of them with cinnamon sugar and the others with powdered sugar. If you would prefer a glaze, just add, you could add some maple extract, some milk to this, or even just milk um, and a little vanilla and boom, you, you can glaze it. But this is just, this is how Aunt Terry did it. This is how I do it. Okay, so which one do we want to be our trial see how it's immediately bubbling that's what you want if yours is not bubbling like that it's not hot enough and it's going to be greasy the food will soak up the grease instead of cooking so uh just the hardest part about this recipe is making sure that your grease is hot enough not too hot but hot enough to start cooking it immediately as soon as you drop it in the grease okay and i'm just going to keep Keep dropping them. Donuts for breakfast. Oh yeah. All right guys, it's only been like a minute, but can you see how these have puffed up already? They've puffed up and they're getting golden brown. Maybe I need, maybe I chose the wrong implement. Oh, looky there. <laughs> guys, there's nothing better than homemade donuts. Biscuit donuts are the best. Comment below if you've been eating these since you were a kid. Man, this was one of my favorite, like, treat breakfasts when I was a kid. I'm so sad I can't eat these. I'm not going to because it will make me so sick. But I would if I could eat gluten. Those gave me a hard time. All right. But anyways, this is just to show you it's fast. They cook up fast. Flip them. And then I take them straight from the grease to the cinnamon sugar, the powdered sugar, and then just put them on a plate. The kids will be up shortly, I promise. And looky there, the bottom's done. It's so fast. You just put them straight in the cinnamon sugar. Straight in there. Oh, 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 the kids are gonna love these. Look at those, y'all. All right, next batch going in. Aren't these so fun? I'm so excited for the kids to eat up and get their donuts. All right, guys, this was so fast. There's not much like editing this down. It goes really, really quick. When you have the grease at the right temperature, they, they cook super fast on each side. You just flip them over, toss them in whatever you like, make a glaze if you prefer. This is just how I grew up having them. Um, but yeah, if you've never made homemade donut biscuits or donuts out of biscuits, I hope this inspires you to give it a try. And if you've been making these for years, you've been having them since you were a kid, leave a comment and tell me about it. I love to hear about it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day. I will see you next time.